It's your girl Kai K Nicole and I am back with another freaking video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. It's your girl Kai K Nicole and hopefully you like my content that I make. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to your girl because your girl is on the road to 50k and every day we are getting closer to that. So if you write down low in the title, you already know what this video is. This video is going to be more informational to people that want to start YouTube, that is interested in starting YouTube but don't know which way to take or what type of content to make or how to get subscribers or how to do this or how to do that. I'm going to uh, answer a lot of those questions that I posted on my social media. And if you are new, make sure you go ahead and follow my social media, which is Kaya K. Nicole. And I have a little tad thing too. I'm gonna put that in there too. So yeah. So um, I do wanna say this before I get into the video. Starting YouTube, is something very fun you have to have fun doing it you have to look at it as like yes this is something i like to do this is something i want to do because you can get discouraged really really fast um so if you're thinking about you doing youtube this is your sign to start doing youtube now it is 2023 we are we making we, what's that uh twitter saying we getting rich off content that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get rich off content so Make sure you stay tuned in this video so you can learn the ins and outs and what to do. That's enough rambling. I'm going to get into uh, a couple of questions that you guys have, that you guys have asked me and want to know the answer to. Okay. So the first question is, how do you edit your videos or do I? Yes, I edit all my videos. I edit everything by myself. But with the software that I use, it's called Final Cut Pro. It's a little bit harder for beginners because you have to actually have someone. Well, I was blessed enough to have my boyfriend sit down and show me how to use the uh, software, which is called Final Cut Pro. I was actually blessed to have him show me how to do it or whatever the case may be. So if you do have a camera and you're looking to upgrade your software and things like that, you can use Final Cut Pro. So that's the first question right there. What's... A good editing app to use for my videos and a good affordable camera so this is a this is a this question is asked the most what's a good editing app and what's a good affordable can, camera so honestly I feel as if the camera that I have is pretty affordable um to me I paid uh, I want to say I paid a thousand dollars all together so my camera my tripod and my SD card that was all together. I got it from Best Buy. But a lot of other cameras that I see. Actually, give me one sec. I got to make sure I say the names right. Okay, so you have the Sony ZV-1F. I've heard the Sony ZV-1F is really good too. And uh, somebody asked me about a Canon G Mark X11. Or Mark X something. One of those. Those are good cameras too. So the Canon... Hold on, let me make sure I'm saying this right because I don't want to give y'all the wrong information. So the Sony ZV-1 or the Sony ZV-1F or you have the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. Those are some pretty good uh, vlog cameras that I know that other YouTubers do use. So those are the cameras right there. Um, A good app for editing. If you are... Editing like on your phone and stuff like that. I know uh, CapCut. I know a couple of people that use that. Um, it's called Video Leap. That's a good one. I used to use that when I was vlogging on my camera. I mean, on my uh, phone camera. And then uh, what the I told y'all the software that I use for my camera that I edit on, which is Final Cut Pro. It is it is expensive. It's three hundred dollars one time. You pay three hundred dollars for the whole software. So if that's a little bit out of your budget, you can kind of go with the ones that I told y'all uh, about before. And if you are recording on your phone, they do have uh, this little thingy that you can plug into your phone, connect like your SD card to. If you're if you decide to get a camera but don't want to pay three hundred dollars for the software, you can connect your SD card to it and it'll upload all your footage from your camera to your phone, so you can edit on the software that is on your phone. Um, how do you maintain when to post? 
and love and I love you so much and you're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I try my hardest. Um, so how do I maintain when to post? Honestly, I try not to go no longer than four days without posting. So that's just how I do. I don't have exact days that I post. So I don't have like a schedule where I say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going to post. Thursday, Friday, I'm going to have off. Or Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to post. No. That's just not how I do it. I know my the way my YouTube is, it's a little bit... I don't want to say this, not disorganized, but it's not scheduled. I just, whenever I record, I post kind of thing. But if you're one of those people that has to has that have to have order, then I would recommend you have designated days that you're going to post your content. But me personally, I don't. I just post whenever I feel like I want to post or I make sure that I don't go past my four-day mark. So how do I put all my footage from my camera onto my computer? So I have a... Uh, the thing right here that I'm actually uh, using. So this little tool right here is called like a USB like adapter type thing. I use this and I have my SD card and I plug it into the side of my computer and then I take my SD card and I plug it in and you're going to see like a little it's going to be like a little gadget at the bottom of your computer. You're going to click that and then after that you're going to go to the file and then you're going to upload it onto the uh, software that you use to edit. So that's what I use. I use this device right here to upload all my footage from my camera onto my computer. Ideas for content even if you don't do anything exciting and how to stand out. When it comes to content, honestly, you know, everybody on YouTube does the same thing as each other. So it's basically when it comes to content, you have to find the thing that is trending. You have to find the thing that is like really big to be able to get your video out. I have seen on YouTube, one girl, uh, I forgot her YouTube, but she literally had, I want to say probably about 500, 500 subscribers and her, my day in the life video hit 40K. Her day in the life hit 40K. Why? Because day in the lives are really big right now. Everybody wants to see what a person does in, the day, in their day to day life. So that's what I'm saying with the type of content that you make. Kind of try to go with something that's like trending, something that's. Uh, that people look up all the time. Try to look up content that, try to do content that you like to watch. Because nine times out of ten, that what you like to watch, other people like to watch too. So, yeah. Um, and how to stand out. Honestly, you really just got to be yourself. Because me personally, I feel like my subscribers mess with me because I do my own thing. Like, I kind of like, I'm myself and I, I've always been like this. Even off camera, beside the camera, behind the camera. Everybody who knows me for real know I'm very goofy, fun, loud. Like, I'm just fun. And I'm sometimes chill, mellow. I really think I got ADHD. But besides the point. But yeah, just kind of be yourself. You could do the same type of videos like Dan and Life to get ready with me, stuff like that. But what's going to separate you from other people? So you got to kind of find like, oh, I'm going to try to do this because I haven't seen nobody do this. Like, you know, kind of give it your own twist and that'll help you stand out compared to other YouTubers. Is it better to be a uh, TikTok influencer or a YouTube influencer? From my experience, that's, that's really good. From my experience, I honestly see that a lot of people that do YouTube seem to get paid more than people on TikTok, but TikTok does allow more people to see your videos. So really, if you can kind of be both, be both. I mean, why not? That's two big bags, two bags coming together in your pocket. So yeah, what do you do to promote? How do I promote my YouTube videos? How to promote YouTube videos? Really, you got to post them on your story. Try to send them out to people that you follow. Try to get people to uh, share your video. Not always everybody's going to support you, but at least just try to get yourself out there. Keep going. Keep pushing. Like, that's the only way I can tell you is literally, literally keep sending your videos out. Keep posting your videos on your story. Keep posting. I'm trying to tell you. How do you make your video quality so good when uploading? Okay, so when you upload onto YouTube, it goes through like a processing thing. So it's going to like kind of process your video for you, if that makes sense. And then also the setting in your camera. Like what setting are you going to... I don't know how to explain it. Like... I don't know, YouTube kind of processes my videos and then when it gets done processing it, my, my quality be good, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, sorry. If that, I, 
so sorry if I didn't answer your question correctly, but YouTube kind of helps me out a little bit. How to gain subscribers. This is a very big question that everyone wants to know. How to, how can I gain subscribers? What do I need to do to get subscribers? What, like this, that, and the third. Keep posting, keep posting. Somebody's going to see your video. Somebody is going to see your video. Keep posting, keep doing, keep, keep posting, keep sending your stuff out. Like keep being you. And I swear, like subscribers will come. If you keep posting good content, interesting uh interesting content like stuff that is really trending right now on youtube people are somebody is going to see your somebody is going to see your video so keep posting keep like you have to keep pushing you cannot stop just because you're not seeing your subscribers go up or this and a third that does not mean that does not give you the right to stop you have to keep going like people are going to come they're going to subscribe they're going to want to see you they're going to come i promise um so the question was, how did you grow your channel? So I was very blessed and very, very lucky. It's like, I swear to God, it was literally all God. Because really, so if y'all know my boyfriend, my boyfriend is Cashy V. He was on YouTube before I was on YouTube. So he was like, oh, you need to start a YouTube channel, da, 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 da. And I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. So I started one. People from his uh, page started to subscribe to me and other people and stuff like that from other people too. They started subscribing from, from me. But it, but you can, a person can give you a platform, but if the people don't like your personality or like you as an individual, they're not going to watch you. So honestly, the people, my boyfriend and other people, they did help me, but my personality helped it even more to keep growing, keep going and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's kind of how I grew my channel. Um, it's not that easy. For some, for mo majority of people, it's not as easy. I'm trying to tell you, I really got lucky and I really got blessed. Thank God. To, like, I didn't have to go through the struggle of starting YouTube. It kind of just, like, thank God for my boyfriend. So, and others, too. Um, do you get discouraged at times? And if so, how do you bounce back from that? So with YouTube, you're definitely going to get discouraged at times. Like sometimes your views are going to drop. Sometimes uh, a video that you hope to do good or you put a lot of effort into is not going to get the views that you hoped. Um, so you do get discouraged. Like, dang, maybe I'm not meant for this. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I can't do this. Like, maybe this isn't for me. But honestly, when with me, you, I have a bigger picture when it comes to YouTube. Like, I just want, I just want to be so big one day. And be able to not only share my experiences with life with other people, but for other people to be able to comment and talk to me and stuff like that. Like, I just want, I just have to remember, and this is what helps me bounce back from that. I just have to remember that somebody out there loves watching my videos. Somebody out there loves my personality. Somebody out there really uses my videos to help them laugh, get through hard times and stuff like that. So if I quit not only will it hurt me, but it will hurt that person out there that depends, that kind of depends on me as their comfort. So that's how I have to bounce back. That's why, that's how I have to remember like, hey, you can't just quit. You can't just be like, oh, I don't feel like doing this today. Da, da, da. You got to remember like, it's bigger than just me. I have other people out there too. Okay, boom. So this question says, hey, Kaya, big fan. I want to start YouTube, but I feel like it's being overdone now. How can I be different? First, I want to say, hey, girl, um, I appreciate you. You're not a fan. You're a supporter. You love me, and I love you, period. So um, YouTube isn't overdone. Honestly, why? Because it's actually really cool to see a lot of people having the courage and being able with YouTube uh, lowering, uh, lowering their requirements to have people actually join the YouTube community and see how it is. Also, YouTube isn't for everyone, so some people may get on here and they may not like it, or other people may get on here and they may blow. So I'm very happy to see everybody join the YouTube community and actually trying to be entrepreneurs and get rich off content, because all 2023, we get rich off content, period. But how can you be different? Honestly, you are different. Every person is a different person. So in order for you to feel like, 
in order for your channel to be different, you have to be different. I'm pretty sure you're different. You're not like somebody else. Like, I'm pretty sure you're a different person. So, with that being said, just make your YouTube how your personality is. Like, that makes sense? Because everybody has a different personality. So, if you make your YouTube how your personality is, boom, you're different. I don't know. That sounds, that makes sense in my head. I don't know. Sorry, y'all. How do you find things to record? So, um... I just know a lot of people be wanting to see what I do in a day-to-day -day life because a lot of people aren't able to live a type of life that I live. So if I can show them like, hey, I started from here and I came here, you can too. So I kind of just try to make sure that I show them like, this is what I do. Um, this is what I do. Sometimes I'll be chilling in the house. Sometimes I'll be out running errands. Sometimes I'll be meeting new people, networking. So... If you're just, if you get out the house, record. If you're going to go hang out with your friends, record. If you're going to go grab food, record. Pumping gas, record. Like, anything that you do, you you record it. Like, even if you're sitting in the house and you're just talking for a little bit, talk to the camera, let them, like, ask them how their day is doing, like, how y'all day going, like, what y'all been up to, what's the tea, is it really giving the vibes, like, it's so much in life that you can record. Like, even when a lot of people are going back to school, record like when you're in class not in class but when you're in school record basketball games record football games record like it's so much stuff out here to record when you go to the museums so i'm just giving you a variety of things that you can record so yeah i just record my whole life what do you think is most important when it comes to making a video when it comes to making a video honestly i feel that is really important that your quality is good and the the people are able to hear you because i feel like if the quality is kind of terrible and the people can't really hear you then it's really hard for people to want to be intrigued into your videos if that makes sense hopefully that kind of makes sense what i'm trying to say so quality and being able to hear clearly is very important when it comes to making videos is there like an easy way to get views child i heard people can pay for them i really i personally don't know an easy way to get views I, I really don't why because some like i'm literally trying to tell you youtube is so different like it's so wild because it's like one day you can be on top of the world then next day another video might not do good or you might make a video that people aren't really interested in seeing right now so it's really not an easy way to get views it just depends on the type of content that you make so if you make content that everybody wants to see boom you got views like that if you make content that people are like mm, i don't really want to see that then you might not get as many views as you got on a video that everybody wanted to see so it's not really an easy way unless you just make crazy content that everybody wants to see how do you come up with content so i come up with content by doing research like i research a lot so I'm up sometimes at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning looking at YouTube videos, um, seeing how I could remake this video but make it better or add my own twist to it. Um, I'm seeing what people are really interested in seeing. So a really a list of things that people are interested in seeing, especially with school coming up, is back to school videos, back to school hauls, styling back to school looks, um, get ready with me, night routine, morning routines, um, date night videos, day in the lives um weekends with me girls days stuff like that people are really interested in so that's how i kind of come up with my content by doing my research seeing like the videos that people want to see and um kind of giving my own twist to the content that i do get my research from that i do get from when i get done researching so yeah okay are you scared or worried that the videos you post are going to affect your future or future career so my future career is really entrepreneur. I plan on working for myself. I don't plan on working for anybody else. I, that's a whole nother story, not story time, that's a whole nother video. Cause yeah, I've been working for people since I was 15. It's time for me to work for myself and that's what I'm doing. So you know, I don't feel like the type of content that I made with you know, my pranks and the freaky videos and stuff like that is gonna affect my career. I don't believe so because I do plan on keep working for myself. And y'all see, your girl, your girl gonna be when your girl like have a child, she's still gonna be working for herself. Still, business gonna be booming. YouTube gonna be booming. Like your girl gonna be good. So yeah. But if you do, I'm gonna say this though. 
if you do want to work for someone else and do YouTube, just be careful with the type of content that you make. That's what I will say. So, yeah, be very careful with the content that you do make. How can you gain people's attention with your videos? Um, I kind of already answered this, but I'm going to answer it again. Doing videos that everyone wants to see. That's how you can um, gain people's attention with your videos. Instead of doing a Q&A video, what should be my first video? So, it's so crazy. When I started uh, YouTube, I was so scared because I didn't know what type of video to post. And my first video was a cooking video. But, um, you can do like a day in the life or a video with you and your homegirls. If this is a girl or a boy, I don't know. But you and your, with your homegirls or your homeboys, like, sometimes about the end. Or you can do like a back to school shopping haul or summer haul. Like something, I'm sorry y'all. Like a haul video, like it really, honestly, I'm going to be so honest with you. Your first video really does not matter. It, what The videos that matter is the ones after, like, are you going to keep up with the content? Are you going to keep up? Are you going to stay consistent and stuff like that? So, your first video could be anything. Ooh, my bad. Anything in a whole while work. Okay, this is a really good question. How do I grow my audience? Do I have to act perfect on camera and not be my true self? Be yourself. Be who you are. For your prayer. Okay, I'm sorry. But, yes, be be who you are. Because, I, like I, I keep saying, somebody's going to freak with your personality. Somebody is going to love your personality. Don't try to be perfect all the time on YouTube. You see me. I'm from the side, baby. We be cussing up a sailor. But I don't try to stop cussing so much because, you know, I do have a younger audience. And I don't want my younger audience to not be able to watch me because I curse so much. But... You can be your true self. Like, be who you are. Be Show YouTube a different personality. Because, obviously, everybody wants to be perfect, soft life, this, that, and the third, da, 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 da. A lot of people aren't soft. A lot of people can't afford a soft life. A lot of people can't. So, don't try to act, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't try to act like something you can't. Like, like that you're not. That who you aren't. So, just be yourself. Love. Love you. And show YouTube who you are. Period. Also, this is another thing to get your YouTube out to. Post your YouTube on TikTok too. I see a lot of people, um, a lot of new uh, upcoming YouTubers post their TikToks on, uh, post their like their YouTube channels on TikToks. And I've been seeing their videos go crazy. So make sure y'all try that too to promote y'all uh Y'all, YouTube, post your, post your YouTube on TikTok, uh, your Instagram, your Twitter. Like, post your YouTube on every social media that you can. Okay. Also, I know I see a lot of people asking about video ideas. I'm going to go on Pinterest, and I'm going to go on TikTok, and I'm going to screenshot YouTube ideas for you guys to do, and I'm going to put it on a screen, probably at the end, so y'all can screenshot and see different videos that y'all can do. How to keep viewers engaged. That is so important. Honestly, all I can say is how interested, how interesting is your video? How is your personality and the quality of your video? And how do you edit? That is how you keep people engaged. So y'all, I got V to jump in with the video with me so he could help me answer a few questions that I'm not too sure about the answer with because I am still a beginner YouTuber and V is more advanced with the whole YouTube thing than I am. So I got him to help me uh, answer these last few questions. So yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So the girl, not the girl. This one question says, how did you start Cash TV? Um, I started based on um, videography. Like, I was doing videography before I turned the camera around on myself and started vlogging. So, that's really how I started. And then, people used to tell me all the time, like, bro, you got, a, like, a crazy personality. Like, you're not supposed to be behind the camera. Like, bro, you cool as hell. Like, you got a good personality. So, flipped the camera around on myself, and it was just history from there. Um, I already told y'all how I started with because of V. He helped me. He made me, like, start, if that makes sense. Um, what is the hardest part about YouTube? <laughs> everything <laughs> I just um posting like finding like if you say you in a place like um, we can use my hometown for is that south carolina we could say south carolina it's really hard to do content in south carolina because there's not really much stuff to do like it's not a lot of motivating people that wants to be motivated to make content and stuff like that so 
Yeah, that's that was one of the hardest parts about trying to do YouTube is trying to make sure that you in the right place where you can make content. And what else? I see a good question. How did not get discouraged? I already answered that too, but you can answer oh, you it for did? your you can answer it for your point of view. There is I feel like there is no there is no how not to get discouraged. Everybody's gonna get discouraged, whether they show it or not, but everybody's gonna have some good months, they're gonna have some bad months, they're gonna have some good videos and some bad videos. You you could have a video that went number one two days ago and you have another one that just go number ten. You're mm-hmm. like, bro, like what am I doing wrong? Yeah. You just had a video go number one, but that's just That's just how YouTube is. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Um, how to get monetized. So if you are Man, no, YouTube, no, no. y'all done change y'all terms and services thing. If you are like trying to join YouTube now, you are, you have a way easier because now YouTube it has where you can only have five hundred subscribers and one thousand watch hours. And one thousand watch hours is basically can you explain the watch hours part? They, they, they're, not, they're not fair, bro. We had to get a thousand and four thousand. That's not Babe, fair. But it's I'm funny to watch you. hours part. So the watch hours is basically how many hours people it's it's self explanatory. How many hours people have watched your video. Yeah. Say you have a video that hit a hundred K and if it's a hundred K and it's say it's thirty six watch hours on that hundred K video. Yes, that's basically your watch hours. Yeah. But um, I do want to tell y'all, so people that's trying to start YouTube, if you have a channel already and you don't already have YouTube Studio downloaded, download that and it'll mm-hmm. let you know like everything that you need to do. Yeah. So first things first, when trying to start a channel, a YouTube channel, you need to download YouTube Studios. You need to go ahead. No, no, no. First go things first, you need ahead. to make sure that you really want to be a YouTuber before yeah. you do any of that. Invest your money into yourself, into getting the camera. Um... Quit your job if you have a job. Don't make no hasty decisions unless you really know that you want to make this your lifestyle. Yeah. And so, what yeah. else are the steps to starting a YouTube channel? That's really it. Like, yeah. you got to really know that you want to be a YouTuber. You got to really, like, you got to be dedicated to this, yeah. bro. Like, it's easy for people to be like, okay, I want to do this. And then don't do it. Yeah. But you really got to do it. Like, you really got to sit there. And, like, sometimes you got to talk to yourself. Like, you got to be like, I'm good. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Just come into YouTube, like, becoming a YouTuber with a plan. Yeah. And you're going to be good. So, once you go through all of that and you figure out that YouTube is actually something that you want to do, you're going to download YouTube Studios. Boom. You're going to create how, you know, your little banner, your name, uh, your description, all of that good jazz. Once you do all of that, then what do you do next? Um... Just basically start recording. Yeah, start yeah. recording. And don't feel no type of way if you feel inspired by somebody and you say, I made a video, right? And it's like so-and-so, 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 whatever. If you feel inspired by me and you feel like the video that I did can do good on your channel, do the video. That's what I said. You gotta. I told them that too. I was like, find content that's trending. So like day in the lives, get ready with me, stuff like that. That's content that is trending. So but at a lot the of same people, time, don't but, do everything. Yeah, I'm not saying don't do everything, da da da. But I'm just saying that's like content that's like trending that people want to see. So if, if, you, so, if so you're, listen. you no, that's what I'm saying. If your YouTube is based off lifestyle, girly stuff, this that and the third, day in the lives, get ready with me, this that and the third is basically all in that thing. Like yeah, 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 all, that's what I'm saying. If your niche is the whole girly girl vibe, like soft girl this soft girl that then those type of videos are for you but if your niche is like entertainment and all of that good jazzy wazzy and stuff like that then you know like pranks and other stuff like that right okay so the number one thing you cannot do is come into this game just trying to get views like because you're not gonna get like a solid support base like you're gonna get people that just come to your channel watch your video and do not subscribe and you're able to look at that percentage it's gonna be it's gonna have a subscribe versus not subscribe so what's the most important part of youtube uh, consistency yeah being consistent is really important that's why when people's like how do i how how do i get subscribers being consistent like you have to be consistent i ain't gonna lie you're gonna you're gonna lose subscribers too like if they own if they subscribe to you for one reason and you don't you don't you know what i'm saying that reason is not there for them to support no more then they're gonna subscribe of course you you're gonna lose like lose subscribers. You're gonna lose people that you thought that was really supporting you that don't really support you. But all that matters is the people that actually support you. Like they actually love your videos. Um, how do you make money on YouTube? That's uh getting monetized. So it's like that's like a that's a whole video by itself. Like, yeah. To talk about that, cause you so when you become monetized, you're able to place your ads where you want them. You get ad revenue. 
you get something a CPM and an RPM. That's it's, it's just crazy. Yeah, so it's a whole. That's a whole. How to yeah. make money on YouTube is just a whole. Whole another video, video by itself. But to sum it up, what he said. Um. So yeah, to sum up the question, how to make money on YouTube is getting monetized. For yeah, the first thing is getting monetized. And then they come with many steps after. Okay, how can I start so I can gain subscribers fast? That that was the that's probably one of the main things I I was convincing not convincing y'all but I was advising y'all not to do. It's not no gaining subscribers fast type of thing. It's not no get rich quick type of thing. Like yeah. as it's far as subscribers, like okay, so get subscribers quick type of thing. Unless you do like uh, entertaining content, like funny stuff, like yeah. like public pranks, gold digger stuff, yeah. um, blind dates, uh, freaky videos, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. That's how you get subscribers quick. So if you're into stuff like that, be my guest. Okay. How do you not get copyrighted? <sighs> Just don't play no <laughs> Bro, when you recording in a story and they have like the radio going, just don't record or yell in the mic. Bro, I be in there like, yeah, they playing a whole bunch of videos, so I'm going to give it a job. Yeah, like, bro, I'm trying to tell you because it's so easy to get copyrighted. They can hear like literally a Six five, seconds, yeah, yeah, five seconds of a song copyrighted or... Bro, it'd be songs you didn't know existed. Same. Like, that's it, same. Like, no, for real. Like, it's just crazy. It's, it's easy to get copyrighted now. Uh, is it easier to vlog or have set content as in pick your girlfriend based off her car? So, uh, vlogging, vlogging content is just, like, based off of you. Lifestyle, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, those, like, um, public videos, I would say. Like, girls pick her boyfriend based off this or who's the best this or who's the best dad or you know what I'm saying stuff that got a whole bunch of people included into it it's entertaining so if that's the type of channel you're going for then go for it but it's easier to vlog honestly because them type of videos a lot of editing goes into that not even to say you got to depend on a lot of people yeah and then more most of the time you gotta have more than one camera mm. this is a big question everybody want to know is the pay good on YouTube Get money, get money. What? <laughs> what you think? Is it pay good on YouTube? Yeah, definitely. We love YouTube. YouTube, Can't. you should sponsor us. <laughs> get a load of this gal. How do you add background music to your videos? Um, so I go on YouTube and I look up non-copyright R&B music. Once I do that, then I download the music. And after I download the music, I upload it into my software and then boom, you got it. I'm gonna make it easier for y'all. What you do, yeah, what she said. You download the music and what you do is click it, you take it and drag it under it. Under whatever you got, take the sound off, whatever clip is on top. Delete it and just let that music play. How do you deal with the hate comments? Sometimes you gotta let them go. But the hate comments be how it's just gonna be what it be. Like people gonna tell you to like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yourself and you ain't in and you this, that, and the third. But just remember. The more they hate, the more they watch. And the more y'all watch, the more I make that moolah. Cha-ching! Okay, how long did it take you to get monetized? I got monetized with one video. I got monetized with one video. It took and you, then, what, two weeks to get monetized? Uh, yeah. Really, it would have been, you know, a week, but they had to do the whole processing and stuff like that. Yeah, my processing took a long time, but after the processing took, uh, went through, I was good. But y'all, I really hope we answered your questions. And even before he got here, I really hope that I answered your questions. I tried my hardest. I really did. I'm not the best at explaining things, but hopefully I explained it to your understanding. Um, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. And how I end all my videos. If you rock with me, how I rock with you. And you rock with you, how you rock with me. You will like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Because the girl is on the road to 50K. And make sure y'all subscribe to my Honey Bunch Sugar Plum. He's on the road to 100K. Like... Is it giving the vibes? Because it's definitely giving the vibes. We've been giving the vibes lately, and that's just that. You got something to say? What is that? Bye, y'all. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear.
Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. 